morning and welcome again to our thought for the day. We're continuing to look at um, Psalm 37 and we're going to read verses 8 to 11. What a great psalm this is. It says, Cease from anger, forsake wrath, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be, yea, Thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be, but the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The heading I've given this morning is this, set your mind on things above, not on things below. Oh God, help us today to keep our eyes focused on Christ, and when we do, we'll know his peace, we'll know his rest, and we'll be able to trust in the one who never fails. You see, we begin our thought on verse 8 with the word this, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Don't be angry. Don't be jealous of those who are evil. For what they have, friends, is just temporary pleasures that will end up in the everlasting torment of hell. Anger will rob us of what Christ has provided for us. Oh, let's not lose our joy and our peace because we get angry with the wicked. Don't keep company with anger, friends, forsake it. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. By no reasoning and under no circumstances be led in such a direction. Because fretfulness is on the verge of sin. For many who have murmured and sought to bring evil ones down by their own strength have come into sin themselves. Leave the judgment and the vengeance to God. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Let God deal with the wicked, for only he can. For the next verse tells us, For evildoers shall be cut off. Their death shall be judgment, not a gentle removal to a better place, but removed to a place prepared for Satan and all his followers. But those that wait upon the Lord... Those who wait patiently upon the Lord will receive their reward in eternity. The Bible says they shall inherit the earth. What an inheritance is ours in Christ. What an inheritance is ours, friends. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Oh, we look around and we think the wicked seem to be getting on so well, and they seem to get away with everything, friends. A little while, the Bible says. And they shall not be. When evil men reach greatness in the eyes of this world, they find that they are judged in the eyes of God. And they can all be swept aside so easily. Their riches vanish. Their power diminished. And the very shortness of life makes us see the wealth that they had is but fleeting. But our wealth in Christ is eternal. The text says, Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. He shall utterly be blotted out. The wicked will be utterly blocked, bl blotted out. Cut off by their own sin, brought to an end of life, with no hope and no assurance for eternity. But the meek shall inherit the earth. Above all others, they should enjoy life. Even if you suffer, God's word says, these words, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us through Christ Jesus, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. And peace, friends, is a far greater worth than all the evil men may have in their bank account. We have our treasure in heaven. We partake of it while we are here on earth. For we can know the peace of God that passes all understanding. The wealth of this world will fade and vanish away. But the presence and the peace and the power of God is eternal. May we grasp this truth. And may we leave it all to the Lord and trust in him alone. God bless you. I'm forward to speaking to you again tomorrow morning.